Hi, I'm Jane Stafford from the School of Weaving. We are about to launch our seventh season. I can't believe it. All of this started back in 2017. And at the end of 2023, we will have 70 episodes in the can. Um, all about four shaft weaving, studying so many things, laying down a great foundation, uh, giving a solid primer to weavers working on four shafts. Now, of all those 70 episodes, there are four that are for eight shaft, but that's all. So for the last two years, we have been studying the lace weaves and uh, other weave structures that rely on three little words, units, blocks, and profiles. So we looked at twill der derivatives and other unit weaves and block weaves. And this year, I want to bring color and weave onto all of those structures and texture. Way back in season two, we did a color and weave gap in plain weave. How can we bring those ideas forward onto these structures, either unit by unit or thread by thread? Imagine taking dark light and light dark, concepts around log cabin, two darks, two lights. My favorite one in that gamp was dark light, dark, dark light. What would that look like if we superimpose that onto some of these other structures? Well, we're gonna take a look and see. We'll start the year off with turn twill. This will be the third year in a row that we have done our first episode on eight shaft turn twill. It is the only eight shaft uh, structure that we're studying this year. However, what we're going to do is we're going to overlay dark light, dark, dark light, my favorite color and weave sequence on top of turn twill and make it really big. So in that original plain weave piece, it was only five threads. It was a five thread motif. Now it's a 20 thread motif. And we're going to learn how to make it even bigger, how to make it a 40 thread motif or an 80 thread motif if you want. Super cool. Anyway, when we put all of these different color sequences into a warp, sometimes it's a lot of knot tying. So there's another thing that I'm providing for you, and that is a slideshow on how I make two warps sometimes. And we have this awesome little slideshow that demonstrates how to warp a loom with two warps. In episode two, we've got Bob Keats back. Bob was the co-creator of Fiberworks PCW and uh, two or three years ago, he was with us and gave us a wonderful introduction to that software program. And this year, he's back giving us a lot more information on how to use the block substitution portion of the program, how to use more of the color and weave tools, and a whole bunch of other really cool things that I didn't know anything about. Episode three is so exciting. I just love this episode. It's all about Monk's Belt. But this time we are bringing those color and weave sequences and overlaying them on top of units and thread by thread in some of the pieces. The show and tell is absolutely phenomenal. Just imagine the thought of being able to make log cabin look gigantic. And then we have all kinds of fabulous examples of how this uh, gets worked into all kinds of other fabrics. There's also a bonus in here. Um, you know, when I, when I prepare for all of these episodes, I'm scanning and looking in old books, and in this amazing book by Virginia West, I found a fabulous sample, and we have reworked this in different colors, and that's a bonus sample for you. So, so much happening in episode three. How could we not come back to Overshot? Last year we had two great episodes on Overshot. Uh, one where we learned all of the basic theory and one where we did name drafting. And so this year we're going to look at ways that we can bring the theory around dark light, positive negative, and overlay that onto Overshot. And we end up with some really fun ideas. Where do you put the color in Overshot if you want to take it and make it look more contemporary? So those are the things that we're going to look at. And we've got a great piece in the show and tell. Uh, well, it's just so exciting. In episode five, we're going to take another look at Crackle and we get it crackling in this one. It's absolutely amazing to start with a twill profile. It can be an undulating profile, any kind of profile, but then we superimpose all of those Crackle units and overlay 
color and weave sequences on top to create some of the most amazing and complex looking textiles on just four shafts. In episode six, I'm adding a new weave structure, Halvdral. We haven't studied it before, but it's closely related to Monk's Belt. We're going to look at it in small motifs and how to repeat the units many times to make everything much bigger. And we have these beautiful fabrics to show you. Episode seven is on summer and winter. We are going to overlay color and weave sequences and texture on summer and winter. And you won't believe what's possible on the four shaft loom. I'm just constantly blown away by the concept of overlaying. In episode eight, we're going to look at a weave structure called turn tacate. It is closely related to summer and winter. The cool thing about it is it can be done on a straight draw threading. That is so amazing. It does require color and weave though for it to work and it is warp predominant. It's not warp faced, but it's warp predominant and it is so closely related to summer and winter, you won't believe it, but we can create some pretty amazing block graphics using the structure. So that's something new and I'm very excited to share that with you. In episode nine, we're going to really have a good look at how closely related all these four shaft weave structures are. And we're going to take Huck out on a date with M's and O's. They are closely, closely related. And when they get all snugly together, they create something that you just wouldn't believe. We did some pretty extensive, um, color and weave exploration on Huck way back in season five. Well, now we're going to marry those two weave structures together and just have so much fun with absolutely huge possibilities. Every episode ends with an amazing show and tell courtesy of my dream team. It is such an honor for me to work with this group of weavers. I give them a little tiny lecture and then they bring all their own creativity to the table and and send me these amazing pieces that I get to share with you. It, it's just such, it's just so wonderful. The other thing that you get is PDFs. You are getting more and more PDFs all the time. This happens to be the binder of PDFs from all six seasons so far. So there'll be even more by the time we finish 2023. I keep being asked if I'm ever going to write a book. Well, to be honest, I kind of feel like I write a chapter of a book every single month and it goes into this binder. So remember, I say this every year. When you join the School of Weaving, you pay your yearly subscription fee. You have access to all the PDFs. As long as you're a member, you get to watch those episodes again and again and again and learn at your own pace in your own time. Nothing ever goes away as long as you're a member. So come and join weavers all over the world who are sharing and learning together and posting on our forum. We're having a great time. I hope you'll come for the ride.